Hello children. So again, we're going to talk about ATM, an automated teller machine. So I told you how to use the machine last time and I hope most of you went to the ATM machine and withdraw some money. And today I'm going to tell you eight interesting facts about ATM. Eight interesting facts about ATM. Okay, so starting with the very first one. First thing that we should definitely know about an ATM is who invented it. That means ATM banaya kis who created it. So, his name was John Shefford Barron. His name was John Shefford Barron. Here is the face of the man who invented the ATM. Yes. Look at him. So this is John Shefford Barron. Okay. So first very important thing is who invented, who created the ATM? John Shefford Barron. Okay. Now, where was he from? He was from, he was born in England and he was a, uh, a Scottish Citizen, uh, citizen that means he was from Scotland okay he was not born in England but he was born to a British family okay well the place he was born at is again an interesting fact for all of you okay I'll tell you that but later on so let's talk about the second fact about ATM now it's bank account so, second important part is, if you want to deposit money from the ATM, we learned that we can deposit money, uh, we can deposit or withdraw money from the ATM, okay? But what do we need for it? Is the ATM, it, will it just allow you just like that to come and just collect the money? No, right? So, what you need to do is, you need to have a bank account, okay? Bank mein aapko ja ke bolna hota that I need an account. So, then they, the bank people ask you for all your details or your identities like you have your Aadhaar card, your voter ID card, you have your uh, PAN card or your driver's license, the place you live, your domicile. Okay, so they ask you about all those things. They attach a photocopy of anything that is required, then your signatures and then a bank account is allowed to you. So, bank account is exactly like a phone number. Okay, phone number ki tarah hota hai, number hota hai aapka. Okay, you, they give you a number, that means this is your bank account number. And then you can access money from it only by your signatures from the bank. Now, then when the ATMs were invented, then the bank started giving you these little plastic cards. And then to operate those plastic cards, you have to, what do you need for that? You need a pin. Right? P-I-N, a pin for the bank account to operate. So once you put your card in, so all the all your informations are in, on that in that card. And then when you put it in the card reader, that means it reads your information. So all if your information matches from all the information that you give to the bank, your information, because the machine does not know that it is you. Hmm? Then you enter the pin, and then once everything matches, then you are allowed to take the money. And then, where money comes from the account? Mein? It is your money. Like you are working somewhere, and then you get paid, you get a salary, and then what do you do? You take that money and deposit it in the bank. Karte ho. And do you know that ATMs can also be used to deposit money? You can put your money in the ATM and put it in the account. Mein. You don't just withdraw, but you also can deposit. Okay, there are many other functions in an ATM machine ek, uh, other than withdrawing you can do many many other things there okay so you need a bank account then only you can have an atm till then actually there is an exception but we'll talk about it some uh, days after some time or maybe in next session but you should know that you need a bank account for that now the third one is that you need a pin like if you have a card and kisi ne aapka card le liya and the person can just go to any ATM machine or you can call, also call it a cash machine 
एंड देन जस्ट टेक आउट द मनी फ्रॉम योर अकाउंट आपके पैसे कोई भी निकाल सकता है सो सो दैट दैट डज नॉट हैपन द पिन इज गिवन टू यू बाय योर बैंक एंड विच शुड बी चेंज इमीडिएटली बैंक आपको एक पिन देता है विच इज योर पर्सनल आइडेंटिफिकेशन नंबर पर्सनल आइडेंटिफिकेशन नंबर ओके आपको क्या करना होता है वंस यू गेट योर कार्ड यू गेट योर पिन आल्सो सो नाउ बैंक को तो आपका पिन पता है एंड योर पिन यू शुड नॉट टेल एनी वन एंड नो बडी शुड नो योर पिन किसी को नहीं पता होना चाहिए ओके सो पिन आप इमिडिएटली चेंज करते हो एंड देन यू जस्ट ऑपरेट ओके एंड इवन वेन यू आर इंसर्टिंग योर पिन जब आप अपना पिन डालते हो एटीएम में मेक श्योर दैट नो वन इज देयर इन दी एटीएम ओके आपके एटीएम में कोई नहीं होना चाहिए सो यू नीड अ पिन विच इज योर पर्सनल आइडेंटिफिकेशन नंबर ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द थर्ड वन सॉरी फोर्थ वन नॉट द थर्ड वन सो नाउ पिन वी ऑल हैव सीन दैट द पिन नंबर इज ऑफ फोर डिजिट्स द पिन नंबर इज ऑफ फोर डिजिट्स बट डू यू नो दैट इनिशियली मिस्टर जॉन in the creator of the atm had a, had six digits pin okay he had six digits pin but his wife could not remember six digits mr john's wife mr baron's wife could not remember six digits so he changed it to four digits so this is why not all but maximum atm cards have four digits pin However, there are some who still use six digits. Like I don't know all, but I do know. I think the uh, the ATM card of Kotak Mahindra Bank they use a six digit number, or maybe Standard Charter. I'm not sure about that. But Kotak one because I had one so that uses six digit, a personal identification number. Okay, so why was it changed from six to four? Because his wife could not remember. Six digits. So she asked him, "Keep you could change it and make it a little shorter." So he must have said, "I can't make it any shorter than four." Okay, so he made it four digits. Okay, moving on to the next fact. Fact number five: protection from thieves. Now there is a machine which is out in the open. Okay, you would have seen that there are some. Uh, sometimes there is a security guard, but sometimes there is no security guard. एक मशीन है रखी हुई है एंड देन इट इज फुली लोडेड विद कैश बहुत सारा उसमें पैसा रखा हुआ है सो एनीबडी कैन जस्ट गो एंड स्टील द मनी कोई भी जाकर के उस पूरी मशीन को भी उठा के ले जा सकता है कि समबडी केम सिक्स सेवन पीपल ओके उन्होंने मिलके उठाई मशीन दे पुट इट इन दैट ट्रंक एंड दे जस्ट टोक इट अवे राइट नाउ Do you think it would be that easy for to steal an ATM machine? No. So what happens is, if somebody tries to take away the whole machine, they can't just they can't take it. Do you know why? Because there is a chip. There's a little chip like it, it's this small, I think, only this small. Okay, it's like a chip. You would have seen your a SIM card maybe that big, or maybe a little bigger than that. there's a chip installed in the atm machine so if the atm machine is being moved away from its designated place the people who are looking after that machine through a computer will be alerted and they will know that something wrong has happened and if the person has taken it anywhere because they can't remove the chip if they remove it okay i'll tell you that what will happen if they try to do something inside the atm machine but what will they do is they'll track वो उन्हें ट्रैक कर लेंगे कि एटीएम मशीन कहाँ है एंड द थीव्स विल बी कॉट सो दे कैन नॉट टेक अवे द होल मशीन दे कैन नॉट नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द सिक्स फैक्ट नाउ दे कैन नॉट टेक अवे द होल मशीन सो व्हाट इफ दे इंजर द सिक्योरिटी गार्ड सिक्योरिटी गार्ड को इंजर करके उस वहीं पे ही पैसे निकालना शुरू कर दे बाई ब्रेकिंग द बाई ब्रेकिंग द मशीन so what will happen now the thief said ki isko le ja nahi sakte we can't take this away because the people can track us and the police can track us easily so ab hum yahi pe paise nikal lete hain what we should do is we should break the machine right here and take the money out forcefully so now sixth fact is ink 
in the ATM. They can't do that. They can't break the ATM machine. Okay, they can't because there is ink in the ATM. ATM के अंदर क्या होती है? Ink होती है. हिंदी में बोलते हैं स्याही. Okay, ink. Right? Pen के pen में ink होती है. There is a dark ink or I don't know blue or black colored ink. So if somebody tries to forcefully take the money out, the ink is sprayed all over the cash. पूरे कैश के ऊपर इंक स्प्रे हो जाती है वॉट हैपन्स कि पूरे कैश के ऊपर इंक स्प्रे होगी और सारा का सारा कैश खराब हो जाएगा एंड गवर्नमेंट कैन प्रिंट मोर मनी बट द थीव्स विल हैव नथिंग सो देर इज इंक इन द एटीएम जो अगर कोई फोर्सफुली पैसे निकालने की कोशिश करता है सो द इंक इज स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द कैश ऑल ओवर द कैश Okay, and the thieves then have nothing. Okay, and they'll get caught too, I guess. Now, fact number seven, which is your biometric ATM. Now you remember that. I know you would not know this, KYC, but um, at many places, the people use the biometric ATM. Now, what is a biometric ATM? So in the biometric ATM, what you need is your thumbprint. You need your thumb. So what happens there is you don't need to enter digits and the card and many other things, maybe a card. But what you can do is you can just put your thumb on the biometric reader like this. And because every person is born with different prints of their hands. Okay, handprints are different. Hote hain. There are lines made on top of our, on the tip of our fingers. So every person is born with their own personal print. Kisi ke print match nahi karte. Sab ke khud ke apne alag alag print hote hain. Okay, so it would never happen that your thumbprint will match with somebody else's. Never. It will never happen. So if it is you have your thumbprint, it will be only yours. Okay, so what will happen? What happens is there. That you can just put your thumb there. The machine reads your thumbprint, and then you are allowed to take the money. So there, those ATMs are called biometric ATMs, which need your print. Okay, which need your print. Now moving on to the eighth one, which is an interesting fact again. Like I told you, where Mr. John Shepherd Baron was born. So fact number eight. Birthplace of ATM inventor is India. Yes, he was. He is not Indian, but he was born in India. He was born in India in Meghalaya, Shillong. Okay, he was here in India before the before India got independence. He was here with his father and mother, and he was born here in India. And at that time, he was in Meghalaya in the east of the country. Okay. And Meghalaya's capital is Shillong. So he was there and he was born there. So his birthplace is India, Meghalaya. So you should be proud, right? So these are your eight facts. I hope you enjoyed them. Now what you can do is you can write down these facts in uh, your own language in your ICT notebooks. Okay.